Hey, how's it going? Had a really good comment off John Johnson on one of the videos. He was asking about the HRC on a saw blade, a second hand saw blade. These are things I used to use and, and I still do occasionally like this great big one is which was off one of those big logging benches. That's a big old saw blade. I've used that for several blades, made for a lot for those weed choppers and weed whackers, you know, I've, it's, they're, easy, they're easy to uh, make a blade out of. You can just grind the bevel on and stick a handle on them. Um, but I've also used these for Damascus. There's a piece of bandsaw blade, which will be kind of a 15 and 20 equivalent. And that's a big industrial bandsaw blade, that. Yeah. And there is a, there is an old circular saw blade. That's really old. There's no tungsten carbide teeth on that. It's just literally steel teeth. And there's a more modern version of a circular saw blade, which is one of mine off my chop saw. So that's probably probably about 10 years old, that blade. Uh, so what I'm going to do, because this is something I genuinely want to know, and as far as I know, I have not, never HRC tested a blade as it stands. Now I think, these are my thoughts on this, I think that a saw blade, I don't think these will be temper to a high hardness I'm thinking they're going to be in the 40s to very low 50s HRC so maybe up to say 52 down to 40 I think somewhere around there because that's kind of sort of a springish temper on a, on a steel and I don't think they would ever want these blades really hard I don't know this is genuinely the first time I've tested these obviously this test is really useful for you guys who just make knives out of saw blades and don't do any heat treating and just rely on these steels properties to form a blade. I've kind of always done a heat treat on these steels after I've made the knives but if you're not doing then this is going to give you a good idea of what the hardness of these steels are. We've got three blades there we'll see what the numbers are. Cut a piece off the big one there because I don't want to hold that in the HRC tester. We'll start off with that big old saw blade. You're over on a, a little bit of an angle there, but um, I'll tell you exactly what the reading is from dead in front of it. And to save you waiting for the preload to come down, etc., I'll bring you back with the reading. Here we go. So we have 47, 47.25 HRC on that one. Here's the old just carbon steel saw blade. I don't know. I've cleaned all these blades down by the way. There's no scale or rust on them or anything. That to me seems maybe a little bit harder that one. Yeah, that one is at 52.5. Here's the more modern type blade. Probably made in China. Although you never know. Yeah, that is, I think, softer than the other, than both the other two. That one is at 41, 42, 43, 44 HRC. Finally, let's do this uh, bandsaw blade. And the is we are at 40 just shy of 46 on the bandsaw blade so guys there isn't a massive amount of difference in these steels really some are a little bit softer than others um, but to my mind that they're, they're just not hard enough for a knife edge they need to be round here in the 59 range you're way down on hardness here in the 40s it's just not good enough for a knife steel it is in the spring steel range that in in the 40s to 50s so you want to be through the 50s and you want to be towards 60 to have a, 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 a good edge for a knife cutting edge so that's it guys hope it helps somebody out um, thanks to my patrons and uh, catch you in the next one